I'm Chantelle, and thank you for tuning in for part two of Animals, Bird Feathers and Scales. Tonight we're going to focus on birds and feathers. The next question that I'll ask you is number four. Draw a close-up picture of a bird feather. Number five, name the three types of feathers and what they are used for. And then number six, Name three differences you learned between snake scales and fish scales. Birds are unique among other animals by having feathers. Feathers are dead structures made of protein keratin. They grow from a follicle tube-like sac similar to mammalian hair and they are replaced regularly by molting, which is shredding. Now let's look at some feathers. After looking at the feathers, I want you to go to step four on your sheet of paper from part one and draw a close-up picture of a bird feather. These are some different feathers I have in my collection. They're soft. Those pretty colors, different sizes. Go ahead and sketch. Sketch a feather on your sheet of paper. Sketch what a feather looks like to you. So as you can see, birds have many different types of feathers. Contour feathers which are found on the body and the tail of a bird, flight feathers, which are found on the wings, and downy feathers. These are the feathers found closest to the skin. Since the feathers on a bird's wing are most important for flight, these feathers are more aerodynamic in shape, resembling like an airplane's wing with veins of different sizes. Bird feathers contain melanin and other pigments that give them their multitude of colors, just like in the hair of mammals. So, now we're ready for step five. Name three types of feathers. Mark that on your sheet. So far we have covered mammals and hair and birds and feathers. Before we get into part three, I want to show you some different animal coverings. These are the different animal coverings that I have in my collection. Of course, here's another feather for you. Very long. And then look, I have emu, cycloid scale, rabbit fur, Ganoid scales, exoskeleton, sea urchin shell, porcupine quill, it's a small shell, a lamb hide, rooster, beaver covering, snake skin, impala, and beautiful wings. I'm sorry, impala. And butterfly wings. So that's my little collection. Thank you for tuning in to animals, feathers, furs, and scales. I'll see you next time for part three. Thanks for watching.